everyone! Today's video is going to be answering the most googled guinea pig questions. I've seen this video floating around YouTube for a while now and I thought, why not give it a try today? So, today I'm going to answer the most googled guinea pig questions. If you want to take part in our videos or if you want to see awesome content of the guinea pigs or just in general see what the guinea pigs get up to, make sure to follow us on Instagram. And I'm just going to jump right into the video. I'm just going to insert phrases into Google and then see what other people have asked Google about their guinea pigs. So let's start with, I'm just going to type in, why are guinea pigs called guinea pigs? So that is actually a very good question because the common explanation for the name guinea pigs is that guinea pigs came from Guinea um, and weak leg pigs. However, it's not really clear whether that's really the reason why guinea pigs are called guinea pigs. It's kind of the popular explanation for their name. Um, another explanation is that guinea pigs cost a guinea, so that was the amount of money you paid for a guinea pig, and then pig is because they're weak leg pigs as well. Um, it's not 100% sure whether this answer is actually correct or whether that's just something that we assume about guinea pigs. And I'm going to answer a second question with this phrase and that is why are guinea pigs cute? Because essentially they are walking little potatoes. They have really short legs and a really properly nourished body um, and very adorable big eyes. So this is probably why guinea pigs are just very, very cute. <laughs> Let's see how are guinea pigs born? Well, <laughs> when a mother guinea pig gets pregnant, she gets a very big belly and then the guinea pigs come right out of her once they're properly developed. And when guinea pigs come outside, the mom usually unwraps them and then guinea pigs are pretty much good to go. They are able to feed from their mom, but they're also able to eat hay and everything else that mom has eaten. Yeah, guinea pigs are born out of their mother, <laughs> just like human babies are born pretty much. The only difference is that guinea pigs need to be unwrapped by their mom, but other than that, they're pretty much born just exactly like human babies are born. Nugget, meanwhile, is destroying a Heidi in the background. Let's type in why do guinea pigs <laughs> poop so much? <laughs> they just really love to see you clean their cage. They love to sit back, relax in their hammock and watch their human have a ton of work with their cage. <laughs> no, it is because guinea pigs eat a ton of food. Guinea pigs actually eat 50 to 60 portions of food a day, which is a lot. So all of that needs to come out and this is why guinea pigs poop so much. The next question is also kind of related to that and that is why do guinea pigs eat their poop and that is because there are actually nutrients in some of their poops. They don't eat any type of poop but um, some of these little beans have um, special nutrients in them that their stomach didn't properly digest so this is why they eat them. And actually when a guinea pig is sick and has really bad stomach problems for example, if a guinea pig got an antibiotic, um, which kind of messed up their stomach, it helps if they eat another healthy guinea pig's poop. That sounds really disgusting at first perhaps, but um, it helps their digestive tracts and some guinea pigs will do that voluntarily. So um, you don't need to do anything. Some guinea pigs will just, when they feel sick, naturally eat another guinea pig's poop. And sometimes you might get advised by the vet to collect a healthy guinea pig's poop and just mix it up and feed it to a guinea pig with a syringe. Sorry if that freaks you out a little bit. Um, we got that advice when Frida had an obsess, but Frida did it on her own and just kind of was following Sylvester around in the cage um, because she was waiting for him to produce a bean that she could eat. Probably should have answered this question right after <laughs> why are guinea pigs cute? Um, maybe they aren't always. Next up, let's type in can guinea pigs, I always want to write guinea pucks, pox. <laughs> Owners apparently are as obsessed with guinea pig food as guinea pigs are. Q, Gatsby and Nugget simultaneously eating their hay baskets. 
So if you type in can guinea pigs, the questions are can guinea pigs eat strawberries, can guinea pigs eat grapes, can guinea pigs eat apples, can guinea pigs eat celery, can guinea pigs eat tomatoes, can guinea pigs eat bananas, can guinea pigs eat watermelon, and I'm just going to stop with that list. <laughs> yes, pretty much to all of them, guinea pigs can eat strawberries and grapes and apples, but they are fruit, so guinea pigs shouldn't have them too often. Um, I find that some guinea pigs won't really like strawberries. My guinea pigs definitely prefer the green on top of the strawberry and not really the strawberry itself. Uh, can guinea pigs eat celery? Yes, if your guinea pigs like celery, mine are not a huge fan and you should cut it into small chunks um, so that they don't choke on like the long pieces of celery. They can eat tomatoes. They can eat bananas but it's a f and watermelon, it's a fruit, so the same goes. Next up, we have do guinea pigs like to be held? This really depends on your guinea pig's personality. I always read of people who say, oh, my guinea pig really loves that. My personal opinion is the best that you get is your guinea pig doesn't really mind. But I wouldn't say that they necessarily like it just because it's very unnatural for them to be up in the air with all four feet. Guinea pigs are prey animals and in nature, should they be up in the air with all four feet leaving the ground, then this is because some bird has snatched them. So it's not really in their nature to like to be held. Um, it's more of a situation where a predator would just take them. So my personal opinion is if your guinea pig really trusts you, it sometimes won't mind to be held, but it doesn't really enjoy it and it also doesn't really enjoy to be carried around your house. Um, however, I also know that some people in the comments swear that their guinea pigs love this, but I would answer this question with the best you can get is your guinea pig just really doesn't mind. Also, do guinea pigs sleep with their eyes open? Yes, guinea pigs do that. Guinea pigs go through phases of being awake and resting and lots of guinea pigs sleep with their eyes open. Do guinea pigs fart? That is also a question that is very difficult to answer because the answer to that would probably be no. That is what you read everywhere online. But lots of people, me included, swear that they had at least one guinea pig that they heard farting. My guinea pig who did that is Lumi, who's not on camera at the moment. Um, Lumi has very loud stomach noises. So I can distinguish between her stomach noises and her farting and I swear I've heard her fart. Like fingers crossed she did that. I actually heard like air exiting her. The common answer online is guinea pigs can't really do that but I swear I've heard Lumi fart. She's the only guinea pig where I ever heard that. Don't know if that was a fart or I'm just imagining things but I swear I've heard her fart. Um, however, what can be said is that guinea pigs can't really do that voluntarily. So this is why a bloated guinea pig is such a problem. If they're bloated, they just can't let it all out. They can actually pass away um, from being bloated because it's so serious because they cannot voluntarily like get rid of the air. Even if I've heard Lumi fart and even if that was correct and she actually did fart, then that was not voluntarily and she can't really control that and it was pretty much just an accident that this happened. Let's type in a negative phrase this time. Why can't guinea pigs eat iceberg lettuce? Okay, I really love this one. Um, they actually can. I know I will get flagged for saying this because that is a modern internet myth that you just find everywhere. And especially on YouTube, every time I feed my guinea pigs some sort of lettuce, not iceberg lettuce, just romaine lettuce, um, green leaf lettuce, whatever type of lettuce, someone always comments, don't feed your guinea pig iceberg lettuce because people always mistake every type of lettuce for iceberg lettuce. But guinea pigs can ex eat iceberg lettuce. The reason why people say guinea pigs can't eat iceberg lettuce is that it's super watery. Um, and, and it doesn't really contain any nutrients. So a guinea pig eating iceberg lettuce is just not particularly super healthy for them. They don't really get lots of nutrients from that. They do get a lot of water and some people swear that their guinea pigs get stomach problems when they consume a lot of water. What? However, your guinea pigs also eat cucumber, um, which a cucumber does contain nutrients. That is the difference to iceberg lettuce. But if you feed your guinea pig a tiny amount of iceberg lettuce, your guinea pig is not going to have a problem from that in all likelihood. I wouldn't feed my guinea pig an entire head of iceberg lettuce 
but just giving them a tiny piece um, of iceberg lettuce is not going to do any harm. I sometimes get people writing me emails saying, I fed my guinea pig a tiny amount of iceberg lettuce. I didn't know it was bad. Is my guinea pig going to die from it? And no, your guinea pig is not going to die from eating iceberg lettuce. It's just not particularly healthy. Let's look at the last one. Should guinea pigs be alone? No, guinea pigs should always be kept in pairs. Um, they live in large groups in nature and they're not meant to live in solitary confinement. A human is not a replacement for a guinea pig companion because humans don't speak guinea pig language and they don't exhibit the same behavior. So a human is not a replacement for a friend and neither is a rabbit, hamster or any other type of pet. And perhaps also should guinea pigs always have hay? Yes, guinea pigs need access to hay. 24 seven, hay is super important for them. So they should always have hay. <laughs> and they're all going right behind me <laughs> instead of here where the camera is pointed at. Piggies. So this was the last question. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys next time.